Hey guys, it's me, Drew. Welcome back to my channel. As you see in front of you, we are going to be doing another in-depth candle review from the Kringle Candle Reserve Collection, launching this Thursday, June 20th at noon Eastern Standard Time. Now, full disclaimer, I am a Kringle Candle Ambassador. I did purchase this with my own money. They offered the ambassadors a discount to pre-order the candles, and I purchased all of them. Now, you will see I'm not in the same location I was before. I'm actually in my dining room. You'll notice when I talk in my videos, if I burned a fragrance in my office, or my bedroom, or my dining room, living room, kitchen area, I say, this is my dining room area. And this is 99% of the time, if I'm burning a candle in my dining room, where I'm burning it. I have this dough bowl that I got from Hobby Lobby filled with pebbles that I put a Bath & Body Works glass pedestal on and I burn a candle in here to really just give it a showcase. So really excited to talk about this candle, Ginger Peach. The story of Ginger Peach is experience the vibrant and juicy aroma of Ginger Peach where top notes of ripe peach and sweet nectar awaken your senses. The heart reveals a luscious blend of apricot and warm spice, while the base of sugary sweetness lingers, creating an irresistibly delightful, scentful journey. Scent journey, not scentful. Top notes of peach nectar, mid notes apricot and spice, base notes of sweet cane sugar. All right, right off the bat, I don't really get a spice, I also don't really get a ginger. I get a really juicy, almost pulpy, dare I say. And I know when I say that, it's not pulpy in a way like orange juice because, you know, oranges have a pulp, peaches do not. But almost like, if you remember, I always loved the naked juice, the what was it, the mango madness or whatever it was called. And it was a really thick juice. It almost tasted like you were drinking like a liquid version of a peach or a mango. That's sort of what this smells like. It smells like a very thick, rich, juicy peach nectar. I definitely get the nectar aspect of this. It is a very juicy, sweet fragrance. If you like fruity fragrances, definitely give this one a shot. I really, really enjoy it. Again, I don't really get much ginger from this one. I just get a really juicy, ripe, right off the tree fragrance of the peach with a little bit of apricot. Where apricots have that really, like, almost like an in-depth sweetness versus a cloyingly sweet. It's hard to describe, but you know smelling an apricot versus smelling like a strawberry. Strawberries have this really light watery, airy sort of fruitiness, where a peach and an apricot have a really rich thickness about it almost. So I actually have been burning this one alongside Merlot, which I will talk about in my next video. I've actually been pairing them together because in my dining room, living room, kitchen area, I need two candles to really fill up that space with fragrance. So I like to find two fragrances that I think will pair really nicely together. And I thought the Merlot would be really nice. I don't drink, but I have had a few sangrias in my life. And a sangria is a, you know, a wine, it could be a red wine or a white wine with various fruit juices and fruits in the drink. And to me, burning the Merlot candle in the living room and burning the peach candle in the dining room, when you walk in between the rooms and the scent really goes, it does truly smell like a summer sangria. And I am here for it. It's a really, really great fragrance. As you can see, I'm just about halfway through the candle. It is burning really nicely. The flames are dancing a little bit, which I also want to say you will find dancing flames most of the time on any two wick candle when you get down a little further because you're almost creating a hurricane effect. Now, I know there's been some talk about do you burn Kringles in a hurricane? Do you not? They get too hot etc. So I have not been burning my Kringles in a hurricane since, 
that discussion happen on Facebook. So I've just really been enjoying them as they are. And as far as this one goes, I'm really getting a nice strength and throw. I can't necessarily say if it's only this, because again, I'm burning the peach with the Merlot, but I get wafts of the peach whenever I go. I mean, I have my bathroom, I have my laundry room, I have my kitchen, which are on the walls nearby here. So I definitely am getting that fragrance where I go. It's not nearly as strong as grilled PB&J, obviously, but what I do get is really nice. Now, I have been trimming these wicks every single time because they do, they do grab, they do get very large mushroom tops and mushroom tops, you know, you got to trim those carbon deposits off. I know people say these are self-trimming wicks. This round, I don't think they are. I think you definitely need to trim off that carbon deposit, but it's no big deal. Like Katie mentioned, people want a maintenance-free candle, and she said the same thing. Like, you can't get a maintenance-free candle. Like, you wash your dishes. You know, you vacuum your rugs. You wash your laundry. You clean your windows. It's the same thing. It's something we enjoy, and in order to keep it that way, you have to trim the wicks before every burn, and that's just what I do. I, I'll blow this out tonight before bed. Tomorrow morning, I'll trim the wicks, light it, and I'll be good to go for another couple hours. This has been burning for a good three hours now, and you can see... The top of the wax pulls here, the bottom of the wax pulls here. So I have a pretty good wax pull, not nearly, nearly as hot burning as the grilled PB&J, but overall, I really like this fragrance. Now, is it one I would repurchase? No, I don't ever find that a fruity fragrance, like a, whoops, like a straight up fruity fragrance like this are ever candles that I repurchase. I enjoy them. I enjoy them one and done. But, like, I'm done. Bakery fragrances, woodsy fragrances, you know, complex cologne-type fragrances, I will repurchase. But for the most part, when it comes to a fruity scent, I enjoy it, I finish it, I call it a day, and I'll get another different fruity fragrance. They're not ones that I ever seek out, and it's not unique enough for me that I need to seek it out. But while I'm burning it, I'm really enjoying it. So, again, I am a Kringle Candle Ambassador, if you use my code on Thursday or any time, DrewYawk15, which I'll link down below, it will save you 15% off of this candle, which is originally $34. It is a commission link, so I do earn a little commission off that, and I greatly appreciate it. Let me know what you're picking up on Thursday if you really want to try this candle. If you're into peach fragrances, I love the label. I love that juicy peach with that big pit. In front of that black, black background really makes the peach pop, and I think it's really exciting. So let me know what you think. Be sure to subscribe. Hit that notification bell. That way you're alerted every time I upload a video here on YouTube. Make it a better world and be kind. Love you guys. Bye.